Good morning, good morning, good morning. You know, I woke up, fresh brew, cold brew, overnight, oh, or overnight oats. Well, I do have overnight oats too. Uh, overnight drag up coffee. I have to say, I've seen it before, but I've really started doing it, is the protein, uh, like Profi Coffee Queen, I think is her name. And I get my protein in the morning. Uh, it tastes really good. I have my overnight oats, which I found on Instagram. Um, I get the f the fulfillment, and I just actually like the way things are rocking and rolling. And I feel like my life is finally hitting a stride, even with the bumps in the road lately. Like I'm truly just showing up for what is best for me, and by being what's best for me, therefore it's best for my family. And I'm just pushing myself forward, even through the trials and tribulations. And there's a lot of big change going on. Um, but the truth of the matter is that everything's going to happen in the perfect timing. I just have to be there and be present and be willing. You know, I did a post yesterday on the Positive 40. It ended up being like a 25-minute mini, mini podcast. And it was really a lot of truth. It was hard truth. It was uncomfortable truth. And it was the reality of what was going on. Um, and I always promised you guys that I would be open, honest, whether it's good, bad, ugly, uh, upside down, sideways, it doesn't matter. Just stay present enough to stick to my truths. And my truths are is that you have to be willing to put yourself out there. Because if you can't be your authentic self, then who can you be? That's the only, that's your shot is to be you. Like you have to focus on being you. And that involves being honest, open, willing, and being a part of the moment if that makes any sense. So in a world where you can be anything, be kind to yourself and love yourself. And even when things get ugly, realize that you have the ability to manifest the life of your dreams, even through the direst circumstances, because the universe and your higher power will not allow you to fail. You have to make a conscious decision to fail. Whether or not you realize it, that's one thing I'm learning from me, is that I have everything I need to succeed but if I fail at my goal, it's because I'm choosing to fail. We manifest the life of our dreams. And if you focus on failure, the failure, failure, then the universe is gonna give that to you because it doesn't know the difference between failure and success. It doesn't know the difference between poverty and abundance. It doesn't know the difference between good and bad. It just knows whatever your vibration, the mind, the most powerful weapon on the planet, the mind is vibrating on It reminds me of electricity. Boom, it's gonna strike. And it's going to give you everything you've been vibrating on. So I choose to vibrate on a life of abundance, positivity, and world-changing random acts of kindness. And the universe is going to make it happen. So first, let me get a great, good sip of my favorite coffee. Drago coffee. Brother, I love you. Profi Queen, thank you for the protein uh, uh, tip. Works really good, and I, I love it. So I am ready. My efforts help me succeed and I can make a real difference. My hard work will pay off and I am strong. I have the power to make the right choices for me. I have faith in my abilities and I got this. I'm grateful for what I can do today and I'm happy to be me. My goals are achievable and I am confident. I'll be kind to myself today and I'm on the right path for me. I deserve love in my life and I'll take actions to accomplish my goals. I'll celebrate the progress I'm making to reach my goals and I'll look for the good in things. I'm always learning. I trust myself, I'll try new things, I'll turn negative thoughts into powerful positive ones, and I'll accept myself as I am. I love myself. I'll take time to what brings me joy, and I am powerful. I believe in myself, and it's okay for me to have fun. My possibilities are endless. I'm well rested and full of energy. I'm relaxed and I'm relaxed and at peace. I'm strong in mind, body, and spirit, and my life is a gift. I deserve love and happiness and I care for myself. Healthy food fuels my body <clears throat> and today I'll take steps to reach my goals. I give myself room to make mistakes and grow and I find moments of joy today and I embrace my power. Now, you guys know that life is about choices and sometimes they're not easy. Sometimes you gotta do things that you don't wanna do because you have to get comfortable being uncomfortable and you have to be willing to do things that you're afraid to do so you can do things that you're afraid to do. That being said, whatever you're facing, the higher power in your life is gonna make sure that you can achieve it, I promise. I'm living proof of that. 
Today is, was, and will be a great day. You'll never in a million years hear me say that it's all beyond my control. My attitude creates my reality, and I'm sure you can agree that it's not true that good exists only if one's surroundings are good. True happiness will be obtained because it's all in my mind and my heart, and it's not true that satisfaction and happiness don't last because goodness will always shine through even if the world seems like a pretty evil place. Because when you take a closer look, there's always something good in every day. And don't try to convince me that today was the absolute worst day ever. Because what you believe is what you achieve. If you think you're beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you don't. If you'd like to win but think you can't, it's almost certain that you won't. If you think you'll lose, you've lost. For out of the world we find, success begins with a person's will. It's all a state of mind. If you think you're outclassed, you are. You got to think high to rise. You got to be sure of yourself before you can ever win a prize. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger or faster man, but sooner or late, the one who wins is the one who thinks he can. What you believe is what you achieve. You are going to grow to the next level that awaits you in 2024. There are people, places, and things that you'll have to leave behind in 2023 if you're not willing to let go of certain people for whatever reason. Those people will hinder you from reaching that next level. If you're not willing to stop going to certain places for whatever reason, those places will hinder you from reaching the next level. If you're not willing to let go of certain things for whatever reason, those things will hinder you from reaching the next level. Talk to your ultimate weapons, your corner people to clarify and verify who those people, places, and things are. Let's do this in 2024. Now, one of my biggest goals and one of my scariest goals for me is I'm literally going to change some generational things. By December 31st of 2024, at the latest, this may happen today, who knows? But at the latest, three major things are going to happen. I'm going to be debt free. That means any type of debt, uh, credit cards, student loans, uh, uh, mortgage, car payment, or car note, not payment, let me be specific. Everything's going to be paid off. I'm going to also have a million dollars in my bank account because that's a number I can start with. And then every year thereafter, I'm going to double that initial million. So it'll be two million, then I'm going to double it to three million, to six million, and so forth and so forth. You get what I'm saying? I'm going to break generational curses on poverty, wealth management, uh, generational wealth, and mindset of money. I'm going to do so by setting up wealth generators so that I am changing the course of my family's history. And I'm going to do it in a manner where you can do what I did, apply it to your your definitive purpose and change the course of your family's history. Now, the great thing about it is that I'm going to do it by setting up a social media empire whose sole purpose is to help you achieve your goals and your dreams through random acts of kindness, therefore achieving my goal and my dream of changing the world through random acts of kindness. I also have come to realize in 48 plus years that you can't get something from the universe without giving something. So I'm going to give everything I have mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, and financially to achieve these goals because I can't fill a cup if it's already filled. If I'm hoarding all my blessings and everything that the universe has given me, how is it going to pour more into it? I'm going to keep on giving. I'm going to give so much away the universe is going to be like, man, we can't keep up with this guy. And I'm also going to commit to myself that I will never, ever settle. I will never, ever give up trying. Because even if I fail, I'm failing forward. Because I've lived a life where I've either always been going backwards or being stagnant because I was afraid of what was in the future. Because I couldn't control it. I was uh, overwhelmed. I was insecure. I was all these things that just held me in place like a hostage situation. I won't ever, ever, ever learn to live or settle into the comfort zone where hopes and dreams go to die. I'm here to tell you guys that we got this. All in or nothing, that's what life is about. And in a world where you can be anything, be kind. It's priceless, it's free, and I promise a random act of kindness is changing the world.